Hello everyone, welcome back to our first example video on factoring trinomials by grouping. I'm going to factor this thing I've got here, 15x squared plus 13x plus 2 by grouping. What I will do, the grouping part, is I need four terms, right? I need two pairs of terms, so I'm going to regroup the middle term. I'm going to break up my x term into two different pieces, and the way I do that is using the idea of the coefficients being a and b and c. So I have my a here is 15, my b is 13, and my c is 2. And the way we break up the middle term using factoring by grouping, we look at a times c, and we're going to compare it to b. So if I look here, a times c is 15 times 2, which is 30. And I'm going to compare that to b, which is 13. When we compare a times c and b, we want to look at what two numbers will multiply to get a times c, and those same two numbers will add to get b. And if I can find two numbers that work for that, then this will factor by grouping. So I look at what two numbers multiply to get 30, and add to get 13. And if you look at for a second, you might find that the answers are 3 and 10. 3 times 10 will give us 30, and 3 plus 10 will give us 13. Now it doesn't matter if you say 3 times 10, and 10 times 3, or 3 plus 10 and 10 plus 3. Either way, the idea is you're simply breaking up this 13x into two different terms using these numbers. So I'm not changing the first term. 15x squared. What I'm doing is breaking up my 13x into two separate terms. So I'm going to break it up using 3 and 10. Now I need to keep the same kind of term it is. So these are going to break up into like terms that are x terms. So I have a 3x and a 10x. That is still 13x, but I have broken it up into two separate terms using the numbers that I found over here. 3 and 10 were the numbers that worked for me to group. I keep my C, I only regrouped my B into two separate pieces. Once we are here, you can then follow the procedure that we followed in our intro video to factoring by grouping. We now look at the first pair of terms and we say what is the greatest common factor of the first pair. We can pull out 3x from the first pair of terms. Left over in the first term would be both a 5 and an x to get 15x squared. 3x times what will give us 3x? Answer is plus 1. So we are already now saying that 5x plus 1 is going to be a factor. So I copy it down again and I look for it in the second half and I say what times 5x plus 1 will then give me the second half. And I say, what times 5x is 10x? Well, it'd be a positive 2. And I just make sure, is 2 times 1 going to give me 2? And it is. So in other words, if I distributed 2 into this, I would get the second half. So we have 5x plus 1 is certainly one of our factors. And then remember the outsides, 3x plus 2 will give us our other factor. So the answer to this problem using factoring by grouping is 5x plus 1 times 3x plus 2. Okay, we have a few other factoring by grouping examples for trinomials. Check those out and get your practice in. We'll see you then.